This is a quick and basic introduction to using the library website for research. Let's start with a very easy search. I'm going to enter the word poverty into the one search box and run a search. One search will look for any print book, ebook, article from a database, or streaming video that has the word poverty as a keyword. Keywords could appear in the title, as a subject, or in the text, so it's a pretty broad place to start. And you can see that because when we get results, there are quite a few items that we can access that has the word poverty as a keyword. If you're unfamiliar with this screen, you might wanna stop here and give up because it could seem a little overwhelming, especially if you're not sure of how or where to begin. So let's take a minute and look at a website that might be more familiar, Kijiji. When we go to Kijiji, you can see that we're looking at ads just in Grand Prairie. Let's say that we're looking for a car. And you can see that there's currently 392 ads for cars for sale in Grand Prairie. You can also see that there's all these filters on the left hand side. Chances are likely no one's going to go through close to 400 ads looking for what it is that they're looking for. So they're going to use these filters on the left hand side. You can see that the distance is already set to 20 kilometers. Other ways that we can filter are by price. So we can add in $5,000. That got rid of quite a few ads. Uh, we could also filter by year, but then there's all these other ways that we can filter as well. Make and transmission type, kilometers. When we're looking at the ads themselves, we can see that there's pictures. So this car might seem more appealing than this car. And when we look at the ads, we can see all this need to know information. So the price, where it is, kilometers, transmission type. If we're really interested, we can click on the title of the ad and more information about this car appears. Easy, right? So let's go back to our one search results and think about what we just saw. Take a moment and think about the similarities between what we were just looking at on Kijiji and what we're seeing here. Both Kijiji and OneSearch are databases that store huge amounts of information for your use. By using keywords and filters, you can drill down and find what it is that you're looking for. You can see here that there are a lot of results. You can also see over here that there are all these filters that you can use on the left hand side. Much like Kijiji, using these filters will narrow down the results. Let's look at these results now. Remember, I mentioned that OneSearch was going to look for any information that we have paid for access to or have in our collection with the word poverty as a keyword. And as you can see, there's lots of options. Again, think about how these records or results are very similar to what you just saw on Kijiji. Instead of pictures, there are icons. So we know that this is a video recording, this is a book, an ebook, a print book, an article from a periodical, and here's an article from an academic journal. Let's take a moment and really look at this result here. We can see that the title of the article is highlighted and tells us, as titles tend to do, what the article is about. And just like Kijiji, the need to know information is provided. Who wrote it, where, when, the publishers, and so on. We can also see that there are subjects noted here. Subjects are important to pay attention to for a few reasons. Before these records are put into OneSearch, they are tagged with subjects, so the core concepts or key ideas of the information source. These subjects highlight what the piece of information is essentially about. It's good to read and think about these subjects because sometimes a great title can trick you into thinking that something might be perfect for you, but then you can see in the subjects that it might not be good or relevant at all. And there are other reasons why subjects are good to view, because when we first run searches, we might use casual or informal language. The words and phrases used in tagging or assigning these subjects are what we call a controlled vocabulary. Basically, that means that there are technical words or phrases used to tag. And when we take note and write these phrases down, we can use them again when we run a search again in the future and probably get really refined and specific results when we do. Okay, let's go back to this result. When I look at this record again, I can also hover over the magnifying glass 
and information appears here. Sometimes you'll find an abstract or a summary of the article in this little box that appears. That's also helpful to read and look at. So what I can do is click on the title and just like in Kijiji, more information about this record appears. Again, all of this will help me decide whether or not I want to use this piece of information for my research. If I do, I can get to the article by clicking on the PDF link here. I hope this was helpful. Remember, this video was a short and basic guide to using the library website for research. There's still more to learn. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out some of the other videos or reach out to the library in person by email or phone. We have some of our contact information here. See you soon.